right? So, so far, we got Amber, Devin, and Phoebe. Amber, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, sweetie. What did you do? Because the last time you didn't come. I went to my grandmother's house just now. Oh, perfect. Good. How long are you going to stay there? Uh, I'm not staying there. Oh, okay. All right, good. Is your brother with you? Yes. Yes, good. <laughs> Hi, Devin. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Uh, how are you? Are you good? Happy to be at your grandmother's place? Yes. Yes. Good, sweetie. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you for that. Hi, Phoebe. Hi, teacher. How Hi. are you? I'm fine. Good. What did you do this week? Did you do something fun or interesting? Um, nothing. Nothing really. Okay. Mm. Did you have a test at school? No. Um, um, holiday. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, hi, Raymond. Hi. How are you? Good. How old are you, Raymond? Well, no, that's like my mom. That's my father's name. That's like I'm using as like um computer. Oh, so what's your name? A uh, chicken. Chicken, like the food chicken. No, C H I K I N. Uh huh. Okay. What does that mean? Hmm? Who gave you that name? <laughs> Who gave you that name? Your friends, your parents? I think my parents. You think your parents? All right, sweetie, perfect, good. And how old are you? Nine. Nine years old. Awesome, good, thank you. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer, can you hear me? I think you have a problem with your connection. I really hope we're going to fix that. And also, where's your sibling? Your sibling should be here as well. Okay, guys, perfect. So we do have some new students joining us today, uh, but not all of them are actually connected. They still haven't come, that's fine. So today we're gonna to have a lot of speaking practice, but mainly we're gonna focus on traveling. So who likes to travel? Hmm? Ember, do you like to travel? Not really. Not really, why not? Because I don't like going on airplanes and places that I don't really know. Okay, but you don't have to use an airplane. You can use something else. I just so, don't really like it. You, you don't like it. Yeah, makes sense, sweetie. I'm not a big travel fan as well. My friends, they all like to travel, but not me. It's not really something that I like to do. But is there a place that you would like to visit in the future? Any place, for example, for me, I would like to, 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 to go to Japan. I don't know, I just like to see Japan. Uh, maybe England. England, ooh, nice, why England? Because I think it's a really beautiful country. Nice, perfect. Is there a specific place that you would like to visit in England? Um, no. No? Okay. All right. How about you, uh, Phoebe? Do you like traveling? Yes. Yes? Where would you like to go? Taiwan. Sorry, sweetie, where? Taiwan. Taiwan. Okay. Why Taiwan? Because they have a lot of... Uh, food that is yummy. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Have you ever been there before? Yes. Yes, good. And you liked it, so you want to go back? Mm. Nice, perfect, good. Devin, how about you? Do you like traveling? Yes, I do. Yes, you do, perfect. Where have you been? Bangkok. Bangkok, did you like it? Yes. Well, tell me something that when you went there, you were like, wow, this is the best thing ever. Something that really, really excited you. The food. The food. <laughs> okay, good. And tell me, Devin, is there a place that you would like to visit in the future? Yes. Where is that? America. America, okay. Like the whole continent America? Or would you like to go to the United States of America? United States. Ah, the United States. Where exactly do you want to go? Is there a specific country or specific city? Hawaii. Sorry, sweetie, where? Hawaii, because I like the beach. Ah, Hawaii. Well, that's nice. <laughs> All right, cool. Raymond, how about... Oh, sorry, sweetie, chicken. <laughs> how about you? Can you please change your name? Can you change your name? Because I'm going to forget your name. I don't know how to change it. You don't know how to change it? Oh, no. All right. No problem. Tell me, do you like to travel? Um, kind of. Kind of. Okay. What kind of places do you want to see? I don't really have any. Like, do you like to go to the beaches like Devin likes to go? Or maybe you prefer mountains? I think I like beaches more. Beaches more. Yeah, it's nice. You go there, you have a nice time, you swim. That's good. Okay, cool, city. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Bishmer, hi. Oh, teacher, okay. uh, I am Johnny's for teacher. My brother is with me. We are we are we are traveling right now, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay, where are you going? Uh, going back home, teacher. And where were you? Uh, in uh, at night. My Sorry? with my auntie. Uh huh. Did you have a good time? Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Perfect. So. First, I want to ask you, do you know which countries in the world are the ones that have been visited the most? So the most visited country in the world. Do you know what country is that? No. No? Nobody knows? Can you take a guess? China. Like China? Okay. So that's one option. Give me another option. England. Sorry, sweetie, what did you say? England. England? Okay, so China, England. Okay. Well, I don't know for sure. That's why we're going to watch a video about top 10 most visited countries. So the video is about seven minutes and something, but it will have some questions per usual. And then I want you to remember those countries and something that you liked about that country. Well, you're going to see what I'm talking about in just a second. I'll share it with you. Just need to put the sound on. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So, top 10 most visited countries. Get ready. We have 12 questions for this. And let's see. These are the 10 most visited countries in the world, and some interesting facts about each one. Thailand grew its tourism industry by almost 20% in 2013, jumping ahead of last year's number 10 country, Mexico. Thailand's name in Thai means land of the free, which is true as it's the only country in Southeast Asia never to have been colonized by a European power. The capital, Bangkok, is the most visited city on the planet, 
It used to be called the Venice of the East, as many buildings were built on. Wow. Okay, let's start with Phoebe. Phoebe, the first question for you. Bangkok in Thailand is? The most visited city in the world. Perfect. Has anyone guys been to Thailand? No. 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 Nope. Okay. All right. Buildings were built on stilts to rise above water-filled canals, although most are filled today. One-tenth of all animal species on Earth live in Thailand, including the world's smallest mammal, the bumblebee bat, weighing just two grams. Okay, the second question is for Devin. The bumblebee bat is the world's... Smallest mammal. Smallest mammal. A bumblebee bat. I've never seen that in my life. A bumblebee, yeah, but a bumblebee bat, never ever. Has anyone seen this? I've seen this before. No, this is Natasha. Yes, Vidi? Yes, I didn't see this. This bumblebee bat. Okay. Because we don't have them here in Europe. No, I don't, I don't recall. I don't think we have them. I think they're more like Asian uh, little mammals. Russia is home to 25 Russia. UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It makes sense there would be a lot given that its land area is bigger than Pluto. Russia is so massive it spans nine time zones, down from 11 a few years ago. The country's most famous natural attraction is Lake Baikal, the oldest and deepest lake in the world holding 20% of the world's total unfrozen fresh water, partially because it's so miserable. Okay, let's go with the next one. Lake Baikal is amber. Lake Baikal is the oldest and deepest lake in the world. All right, let's check it out. Hey, what did I do? The oldest. You and put the door at the end. That's my mistake. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's my mistake. So, has anyone been to Russia? No. Do you no. know where is Russia? Do you know where is Russia? Russia is actually very close to, to Asia. Let's put it over here. Let's Google it. Russia map. Okay, let's open this map, for example. And let's like look it out. So if you can see all of this here that we see, it's actually Russia. And look at China is on this side. And then obviously we have Japan. So basically Asia starts from here. But all of this, so you can see Moscow is the capital of Russia. Another big city is St. Petersburg. Then we have the big mountain Ural. Then we got Siberia, which is quite big also. And then we have the country Kazakhstan. So it's actually Russia is the only country, actually Turkey as well, So, but Russia is very big. That uh, is set on two continents, Europe and Asia quite big so it's close to your it's actually very far away for me to go to russia but for you it's much much closer even though russia is in europe okay we go back partially because it's so miserably cold one of the favorite pastimes is drinking the russian government estimated that alcohol abuse prematurely kills 500,000 people a year the United Kingdom is the ninth largest and third most populated island in the world behind Indonesia's Java and Japan's Honshu, and almost 75% of the land in the UK is used for farming. The British invented the world's earliest railways. London's River Thames has over 200 bridges. Okay, let's unscramble this sentence. Um, Devin, help us. The earliest British invented the world's railways. Okay. Let's 
do that again. The British invented, sorry, sweetie, how did you say the sentence? The earliest British invented the world's railways. The British invented the world's earliest railway. Okay, so we have the United Kingdom and we have a couple of countries in the United Kingdom. We have England, we have Scotland, we have Wales, and then we have the Northern Ireland. Um, so when we talk about, usually when we say uh, England, we think about London, or when we say UK, most of the people, they think about London because London is the capital. Now, has anyone from you been to London? No? Okay. Well, I live in London. Do you know what is this at the back? How, how is this thing called? The clock. Big Ben. Big Ben, perfect. So the clock is called Big Ben. And this big building, it's actually called Westminster. It's where these uh, politicians, they have the meetings. So they are having this in the Westminster Abbey. Uh, over here, we have a very big bridge. Then if you go downwards on the other side, we have another bridge, which is the, the bridge that opens and closes. And you probably know that one as well. So it's a, good, it's a good place to visit. It's actually very nice. There are people from all around the world. You can go and have a nice time, potentially, maybe when you grow up. 200 bridges and tunnels along its course. Big Ben refers to the bell and not the clock, and in 1945, a flock of birds landed on its minute hand, putting the time back five minutes. Speaking of birds, well, flightless birds, there are more chickens living in the UK than people. Germany is more Europe's chicken. economic powerhouse, exporting $1.5 trillion worth of goods in 2013, second only to China but it's second to none in its number of zoos, with over 400. The amazing Neuschwanstein Castle seems computer generated and was the inspiration for Disneyland's Sleeping Beauty Castle. More than 61 million people have visited it. Germany's Autobahn is the world's oldest motorway network in the world. And then there's the beer. Okay, the next question is for chicken. Germany's Autobahn is? The world's biggest motorway network. The world's biggest motorway network. Oh, the world's oldest motorway network. So Autobahn is actually the highway. When you have like a couple of lines so people can drive their cars, it's called the highway. Or in German, it's called Autobahn. Has anyone been in Germany? No. No. I've been. No, I've been in Germany and I love it. It's a very, very beautiful country to visit. Although German language is very hard. So maybe like in the future, if you want to learn some German, you're going to get that very serious because it's very, very hard language. But for now, we stick to English. <laughs> no German. The beer. Munich's two-week Oktoberfest draws a staggering six million visitors each year. Germans recently dropped to third in the world behind the Austrians and Czechs for most beer consumed per capita. Turkey's largest city, Istanbul, is the largest city in Europe, and the only one in the world with a population of more than one million people to span two continents. It's been the capital city of three of the world's great empires, the Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman. And Istanbul will soon be home to the world's largest airport. The model for Santa Claus, St. Nicholas, was born in Turkey. Oh, I didn't know this. Okay, let's go with Istanbul. Um, Phoebe. The world's biggest airport. The world's biggest airport. Oh, the largest. Largest. So basically Istanbul is a very big city and it's a beautiful city I've been there once I think in my life and there are people from all around the world coming up there now 
what is the good thing? The good thing about this city is that the city is actually placed or situated on two um, continents, Europe and Asia. So as I said, uh, Russia is the country that is actually lies on uh, two continents, European and Asian continent. Istanbul is actually the city that lies on two continents. And that, that is, that's quite amazing, I think. Born in Turkey. Turkey is the most heavily Muslim country with a secular democracy in the world. The bird does get its name from the country because the birds were imported to Central Europe through Turkey. We in the West also have the Turks to thank for introducing us to coffee. Italia is home to the greatest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the world, including the Colosseum, Venice, the Vatican, Florence, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the vineyards of Piedmont, Pompeii, Naples, Sicily, the Italian Alps, the Amalfi Coast, the Italian Riviera, and Lake Como. I could go on all day. All that's pretty amazing when you consider the country is just slightly larger than the US state of Arizona. With the introduction of the tomato from the Americas, pizza, the world's most popular food, was invented in the 1700s by the peasants of Naples. Okay, let's talk about pizza. Uh, Jenny Schwer? Uh, Mrs. Natasha? Yes? So pizza is the world's most popular food. World's most popular food. We all love pizza, don't we? Yeah, quite delicious, quite tasty, awesome. China is the world's oldest continuous civilization and actually trails Italy by just three, 50 to 47, in terms of total world heritage sites. The Great Wall was built to try and keep out Genghis Khan and his Mongol army, but it didn't work. China's megacity, Shanghai, has the fastest train in the world, hitting 311 miles per hour. Okay, let's unscramble the sentence. Um, let's ask Devin. Shanghai has the train, the fastest train in the world. Perfect. Shanghai has the fastest train in the world. Have you been to Shanghai? Anyone? No. Okay. Yeah, I've just seen it in videos. I've never been there, but hopefully in the future. I've seen that in videos. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Beijing's immense Forbidden City is the world's largest palace, covering more than 170 acres. More than 30 million... Okay, the Forbidden City is Amber. The largest palace in the world. The largest? Perfect, thank you. More than 30 million northern Chinese live in Yaodongs, which are house caves that brilliantly use the earth to stay warm during the cold winter and cold during the hot summer. Natural attractions include the epic Huangshang mountain range, which inspired scenes in Avatar, and the larger-than-life Three Gorges area of the Yangtze River, home to the Three Gorges Dam, that produces more electricity than any other power station in the world. Spain is a top holiday destination for Europeans, mainly because it has over 3,000 miles of gorgeous coastline. But Barcelona's beaches didn't exist until the 1992 Olympics allowed Spain to transform the city's industrial coastline into miles of sandy beaches that are now considered some of the best in the world. The Spanish speak the second most spoken language in the world behind Mandarin Chinese. English is third. Another interesting factoid is that Spain didn't fight in the first or So they said something. Spanish language is uh, chicken? Second, um, as the second most language, spoken language in the world. The second most spoken language in the world. What was the first one? Did you remember, guys? English. They said seven? Chinese. Chinese. Chinese is the first most spoken language in the world. 
Spanish is the second one. And what's the third one? English. English, perfect. Very well. Good job. Fight in the First or Second World Wars. And Madrid is one of those rare big cities that doesn't sit on a major body of water, although its name means the place of many streams. The intricately detailed Alhambra Fortress Palace is the crown jewel of a country that prides itself on architectural beauty. It was constructed during Muslim rule over the Iberian Peninsula in the 9th century. Visitors to the USA spent nearly $140 billion in 2013, more than twice as much as second place Spain hauled in. New York is basically the capital of the world, with over 800 different languages spoken within the city. Out west, LA's Hollywood sign was built in 1923 as a massive advertisement for what was then a brand new real estate development. It used to say Hollywood Land. The US Navy wanted to paint San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge black with yellow stripes for visibility. America's Aviation Safety Agency was created in 1958 as a result of two planes that collided trying to get a better view of the epic Grand Canyon. And the first atom was split in Chicago in 1942, leading to the nuclear age. The most visited country by far is France, although there's a lot less of it to visit than when the French Empire covered 8.6% of the world's land. So France is... Um, uh, this um, is yes, can I try? Yes, go ahead. Okay, France is the most visited country. All right, awesome, thank you. The world's land area. France is one of the few countries in the world where the number of tourists exceeds its population of 66 million people. Paris's Eiffel Tower has been visited more than 200 million times, making it the most visited paid tourist attraction in the world. It was the world's tallest structure until New York's Chrysler Building was completed in 1930. Okay, so let's unscramble this sentence. Who wants to give it a go? So I will open the sentence. D. Eiffel Tower. Yep. Was the tallest structure in the world. Well done. Thank you. 1930. The world's most visited museum, the Louvre, started out as a fortress, was at one point abandoned, and was even renamed the Musée Napoleon after the egomaniacal French conqueror. Normandy's spectacular Mont Saint-Michel is accessible in low tide, but surrounded by water in high tide. I hope you enjoyed this little tour around the world. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more mini documentaries. All right, cool. So we had 10 countries in the world or 10 places that people would like to go and visit. And basically uh, in the top 10, we had uh, Shanghai, we had Istanbul, we had France, we had Italy, we had Germany, we had Thailand. What else was it? I forgot. I need three more. Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. Okay. That was with Istanbul. What else was it? Russia. Russia. Oh, yes, Russia. Awesome. German. German. Yes, Germany. We mentioned Germany. China. Thailand. Thailand, we mentioned. Kingdom. Oh, yes, the UK. Yes, perfect. Or England. Awesome, guys. Cool. So from all of these 10 places, let's say I've been to France, but I didn't like it. It wasn't something I've seen the Eiffel Tower and the Museum Lure, but it's just, it's not something that I really enjoyed. I didn't like it. I like Istanbul. I like Russia. I haven't been to Russia. I do have a Russian name. By the way, if you didn't know, Natasha is a Russian name. And um, uh, where have I been? I've been to Germany. Yeah, I like Germany. I haven't been to Thailand. I haven't been to Shanghai. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I will give you a very short 
written task, okay? So you're gonna have to take a piece of paper and I want you to write me about a place that you would like to visit in the future, but you must give me reasons why. For example, I would like to visit the United Kingdom because I'm learning English and I want to see how people are speaking English in the United Kingdom. I'm just bluffing, I'm just giving you ideas. Or I want to visit UK because I want to see the bed and I want to see the Buckingham Palace and I would like to go to uh, High Park and uh, have a picnic there, whatever the reason is. So I want you to think about one place. You don't have to tell me about all the places in the world that you want to visit, just one place, but you must give me a reason why would you like to visit that place. So ideally, you shouldn't have less than three sentences, but don't have more than five. So three to five sentences should be ideal. Just a couple of sentences. Remember, when we're writing something, we need to use present tense, okay? I like going to, or I would like. Now, if we use I would like, it will be slightly in the future, right? Because that's a wish. We're wishing something to happen in the future, not now, in the future. So I will give you like, I don't know, five minutes maybe to do this. Write it down on a piece of paper and then we're going to read it. Do you have any questions? No? Okay. Uh, yes, sweetie. Uh, sorry, can you repeat one more time? Uh, what am I going to do now? Okay, so you choose one place that you want to visit. Let's say if you want to go to London, you need to tell me the reasons. Why would you like to go to London? What's in London? When would you like to go in London? So it's something that is your plan. Okay. Yeah, good.
And once you're ready, guys, give me a So once you're ready, guys, just give me a reaction that you're ready so we can read it. Oh, chicken, you ready? Yes? You want to read it for us? It's kind of short. Oh, that's okay, sweetie. Read it. Tell us. I would like to visit London because I want to see the London Bridge. Oh, okay. London Bridge. That's a good reason. That's awesome. Amber, let's hear yours. I would like to visit United Kingdom in the future. It is because I think it's a really beautiful country. Besides that, London also boasts some of the best museums and famous sites in the world. Excellent. Perfect writing. Well done. Good job. Devin, are you ready? Yes. Yes, let's hear it yours. I would like to visit the United States in the future because I like to try different food around the world and I also like exploring new things. Bravo, perfect, very well, good job. Janishwar, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, Mrs. Natasha. Yes, go ahead, Sudi, tell us. Tell us yours, sweetie. Janishwar, are you ready to read for us? Sorry, Mrs. Natasha, I'm writing. If you're not ready, sweetie, that's okay. Let's ask Phoebe. Phoebe, are you ready? <laughs> it's not that bad, guys. Come on, it's actually very easy. So who is reading first, Phoebe or Jennifer? Or nobody? Maybe it will be me. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who are ready, I will give you another task before we actually do the speaking part with traveling because we're going to play some role. Um, we're gonna have some roles. We're gonna play a role game. But before that, let's talk about traveling with parents. Now I know you're still young and you need to travel with your parents, but when we go with our parents, we wanna make sure that everything is perfect, right? Because they take care of us, right? Now, once you're gonna become big, independent, so maybe you're gonna be like over 18 and usually when you're over 18, you are allowed to travel by yourself because we consider that when someone uh, gets to the age of 18, that they are mature, right? So we, it's okay like if we see someone at the age of 19, 18, 17 to travel the world by themselves. It could be dangerous, but it also could be very, very fun and entertaining. Now we will have a text which is called traveling with parents and it's a it is from a student who is at the age of 18 years now i will send you my link just one second actually let me share my screen with you so you will know what you actually need to do down here 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 Okay, so the text is called Traveling with Parents. And you see, it's not that long of a text, but it actually has 10 phrases you need to put them in. And you already have them here. We go fishing expeditions and going on lots of walks. So I met lots of relatives I didn't know and so on. So you're gonna have these 10 little phrases that you have to fit them in in this text. Super easy. And the vocabulary should be all familiar for you. 
If there is something that you don't know, no problem. You can ask me at any time. And then we're going to read it. Just... Hi, sweetie. How are you? I'm fine. I'm very sorry that I joined a bit late. That's okay. Don't worry. Your, your sibling told me. <laughs> oh, thanks. All right. So I'm sending you the link. I just need to mark it as Friday because it's Friday today. Um, um, so open the file, guys, and you already know you just need to put the correct answer where you think it fits. I will receive your answers. Now we're going to read it. We're going to talk a little bit about it, and I'm going to give you a break because you deserve a break. Yes, Viri, are you ready? Uh, no. Oh, uh, you, do you get the, the, just now you asked me to write. Did you do that task? Yes. Yes, go ahead, read it, Viri. Okay. I wish to go see Nanjing at Taiwan. I wish to go Taipei, Sikimo, and buy pineapple tart toys clothes and eat smelly tofu there. I also wish to go Taipei 101 building to watch the beautiful scenery. Perfect city, very well. Excellent, thank you for that. Oh, Yoyo -Yo is coming. And, and now the part one. Uh, yes, we really know in the, in the chat box, there is a oh. link, you just need to click that one. Yes. Good. Uh, the part one, I need to. Uh, we just need to do it on, on the computer, sweetie. Let me show you. Let me share. I, I can't put the answer. Oh, okay. Now I can. Just now okay. I can put the answer into the place. You just need to drag them. I know. Just now I drag the answer to that and it returns to the place. Sometimes it's a bit harder, so you have to try to see where does where does it fit, but it does fit. Yeah? All right, really cool. Hi, Yoyo. Hello. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Did you forget about the class? Uh... <laughs> That's okay, sweetie. Can you please open the chat box? There is a link showing okay. you through, through mm. this exercise. All you have to do is read the text and put the correct answer where they belong. Okay. All right. Thank you.
Teacher, I'm done. Okay, good. Is that good? Not really, sweetie. <laughs> it's okay, but we want to make it perfect. So you have five correct answers, uh, but you need to have all of them. So.
Yo yo, if you can't open the link, you need to change the browser. Sometimes it's the browser that it doesn't allow you to open the link. So you need to open another browser. Like if you have Microsoft Edge, then you need to open Google Chrome or Safari okay. or Mozilla. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Your network is not good? <laughs> okay, yo, yo, that's okay. It happens sometimes. That's why I use a cable internet. So rather than using the Wi-Fi, I put the cable, plug it in my computer, so I have a stronger connection. Okay. Okay, Phoebe, thank you. Teacher, I, I've already submitted mine. You submitted? Okay, let me check.
Well done, Amber. Bravo. Everything was correct. Awesome. Okay, guys, so, so far, I just have three. I have from uh, Bishmir, Phoebe, and Amber. How about the rest of you? Okay, so I need to see everyone to submit me the task so we can check it out and have a short break so we can continue. As I said, today we're talking mainly about traveling, then we're going to have a role play game. Um, and maybe at the end we can finish with the hangman. But I need your answers. I'm done. You're done? Oh, sweetie, I still haven't received yours. Oh, yeah, but I sent it. Wait, let me check. Do you see it now? No, sweetie, still not. Let me share my screen so you will see. I still haven't received yours. So I just got Amber, Phoebe, and uh, Bishmir. Let me refresh again. Not yet. So Amber, tell me, what is this text about? You've read it, you have everything correct. Everything is 100% correct. What was this text about? Traveling with parents. Mm -hmm. Okay. And who is traveling with parents? Um, the author. The author, okay. And where did he go? Did he go somewhere? Yes. Where? to his parents' hometown. Okay, and what happened there? Did something happen? Did something happen in that place?
Okay, guys, so not all of you actually have this um, task completed. Those of you who didn't make it correct, now you're gonna have the chance to read it with us. It is called Traveling with Parents. And um, this is Ember's, as you can see, she had everything correct. She did very well. So I will ask Ember to start reading the first part. Let's read it to you. Where was your best holiday? Three years ago, we had a holiday in Dominica, where my dad is from. I had only been there once before when I was little, so I met lots of relatives I didn't know. Beaches were amazing, and I loved going into the sea. But the best thing was the night my dad and I made a shelter out of banana leaves and spent the night in it. We were on the edge of the jungle, and we are all we could see was glowworms, hundreds and hundreds of them. All you can hear was the crickets, and there were lizards everywhere. It was all magical. Camping out was what my dad did when he was a boy, so it was really special to share that experience with him. Perfect. Thank you, Phoebe. Let's read the second part. Okay. Most of our holidays aren't really so exotic. Usually my mom just goes down to the travel agent and choose from what is what it is available. Good. Devin, let's go with part three. What do you like doing most on holiday? I love walking. We have lots of holidays in Scotland because that's where my mom is from is from and we'll walk to somewhere and then have a picnic on a beach a look around a castle when I was a kid I loved pretending I was a knight boat trips are great too we go on fishing experiences Traditions in Diamanica. Diamanica. We, we went on a private boat trip. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Chicken, let's give a reading about what's your favorite means of travel. I haven't done it yet because I started all over again. And that's okay, sweetie. You don't have to. Do you see my screen? So you read it from um, my screen. Yeah, it's okay. Can you make it a bit bigger? Yes, of course, I can make it bigger. Give me a second. Let me see. Okay, what's your favorite means of travel? What's your favorite means of travel? Ferries, they're not cramped like cars and planes. And I especially like the moment when you drive on, you feel like you, like your holiday really does start here. And then you can walk around on, the, on that and look out for the place you're going to, which is also really exciting. Perfect, thank you. Um, let's ask Bishmer to read any types or any tips for parents on holiday. Did you word of the question again? To read uh, this part over here. Any uh, tips for parents? So for tips on uh, parents going on holiday is to be we need this one. Pad and to also get some uh, cameras and some toys for their children. Okay, sweetie, but you need to read this part over here. Any tips for parents on holiday? Any tips for parents on holiday? Ta -da! Tips for parents on a holiday is to bring. You just need to read it. Bishmer, you just need to read this paragraph. Yes. 
Intense for Paris on holiday. You have more stops in London. Paris only makes it journey is the best. I mean, it's a part of the holiday too, and everyone will be in a better mood for the next part of the trip if you stop for break. Perfect. All right, good. And let's ask Yo Yo to finish the text. Where are you off to next? Uh, to, to, to score, to score them. Sweetie, this is the text. You can see it on your screen. Yo-Yo, do you see it? Yes. Okay, can you read this for us, please? And, uh, the Scotian. To Scotland. The Scotian. Sing in the mobile home. Mobile and home. Mobile home and going on lots of work. I still like family holidays. Even though I've even had though trip. even though even though. I've had trip with my mates, mates too. Uh, in 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 including, including including one on Holland. It was great. We can appeal to do what we want when we want. What we want when we want it. Awesome, guys. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Some students came in. Let me just see who do we have now here also. Uh, okay. Uh, Paul, RuPaul, who is that? We have Ru Tim and Ru Paul. Is it that Ru? How do I say that? Hi. Hi, sweetie. Can you open your microphone? Okay, so Paul and Tim, can you open your microphones? Is this one person or is it two? I'm confused now. <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay, guys, rest of you, you, you deserve a break because we've been here for in 70 minutes now. So I will give you a break for about five to seven minutes. Get your water, get your snacks, go to the toilet, whatever you want to do. Be back here and we will continue. All right. Okay, okay. cool. Thank you. See you in a second. Okay. All right, cool. We're back. Good. Okay, let me just, guys, I need to see with this students that just joined, if we can just hear their voice at least. Hi, Alice. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Tell us, sweetie, how old are you? I'm 11 years old. 11 years old. Cool, sweetie. Where are you from? I'm from Malaysia. Malaysia. Thank you for that. How about Paul? Paul, are you here? Yes, teacher. Yes, Paul, where are you from? I'm from Malaysia too. You're from Malaysia too. And how old are you? And Good. Perfect. Now, how about the other student that we have? Uh, is that Tim? How do I say it? That will be Rhythm. Rhythm. Is it Rhythm? No, teacher. How, how do I say your name? Rhythm. 
Rhythm. Okay, good. Where are you from, sweetie? I'm from Malaysia, teacher. Malaysia. And how old are you? I am 15 years old this year. 15 years old this year. Awesome. Good. Perfect. Well, welcome to the class. Guys, but you came so late. Did you forget that you have a class? Teacher, my internet connection is unstable. Ah, okay. That's okay, sweetie. Not to worry. That's perfectly fine. It happens sometimes. Okay, let's play some role plays and we're going to talk about traveling. Let me share my screen. So guys, you know, uh, when you're going to do this course, once we're going to start with the book and everything will be going so smoothly, we're going to intense and we're going to work more on speaking skills just because some students are very shy to speak, even though, even though they know how to say it and what they want to say it, but still they're shy. And we don't want you to be shy. If you make a mistake, eh, it's not a big deal. That's why we're here to practice and learn. So the more you talk, the faster you're going to learn the language. This is how the procedure goes. So first things first, we're having role play with traveling. As I said, once we started uh, with the uh, class, we actually watched the video about the most visited countries or places in the world. And then we had a task and now we're gonna do some uh, pro traveling role play games. So I will make this picture slightly bigger so we can see what is going on here. We start with the first one. You're going on holiday with your wife. You see she's packed too many useless things and thinks everything is necessary. Talk to her to take less. So not really, you don't have to say that that's your wife or that's your husband. Not really, you can be even friends if you want to. It's okay, you decide what you want to do. But I'm choosing two students for this role play. For the person who packed the things, I will choose Amber, for the other person who is saying, could be a friend, could be a husband, could be, could be anyone, uh, I will choose, who should I choose? Let me see. I have so many students today. Which one do I choose? I will choose Bishmer. Teacher? So Bishmer, you and Amber will do the first one. You're going on a holiday with your wife. You see she's packed too many useless things and thinks everything is necessary. You need to talk to her to take less. Okay. All right, um, let's see. Amber, I think you're carrying a bit. Amber, I think you're carrying a bit too much of makeup and all your stuff. So uh, I think you should... um leave some of them like at home because if it's too heavy then it might then it might be very difficult to uh, carry the bag because it's too heavy so could we just pick up some uh, luggage from our bag but all of them are really important okay then show me show me <laughs> So what are you going to reply to that, sweetie? Um, Amber. Your wife fall asleep. You need to wake her up. Amber. Amber, sweetie, what happened? Uh, I'm still thinking. You're still thinking? Okay, Bishma, give her some time. Uh, <laughs> wait, what? So Amber, almost all the bag is almost filled with makeup. I'm sure you will need a lot of makeup, right? Um, I guess you are right. <laughs> oh. Well, that was much more than, uh, that was much better. 
for all those good feelings. So let's just go to the airport and just go to okay. our location. Okay, bye. Okay, so we're done. All right, cool, perfect, good. That was a good interaction. All right, let's choose the second picture. A woman and her little daughter are sitting next to you on board. The daughter doesn't leave you alone and it's very annoying. Talk to her mother. So we're choosing Phoebe. Phoebe and Phoebe and and Devin. So you're doing the second one. A woman and her little daughter are sitting next to you. So that will be Phoebe. Oh, uh. uh. You Phoebe, you have a daughter and your daughter is very annoying. She's very loud. Which is mine? Devin, Devin is talking with you. No, yes, has mine. And this one is and first mine. Sorry, your daughter is very annoying. Can you please call her to lower her voice down a bit? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Uh, I will tell her to lower down his voice. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. All right, cool. Okay, let's choose another one. Let's choose uh, this one, the middle one. Let me take my pencil. You are arriving at your destination and are waiting at customs. You can't find your passport. Talk to customs control. Maybe something stole it. So maybe someone sold your passport. You can't find your passport. Let's choose Alice and Alice and 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 chicken. So Alice and Chicken, who is losing the passport? You're going at the customs control, you're traveling somewhere, you lost it, you can't find your passport. Hi, police officer, can you help me to find my passport? Yeah, well, I, um... Yeah, I'll check the security camera. Um, a thief stole it. It was like, it had a black bag and it was um a man which was um kind of fast. Okay. That's it? We're done? Yes, you're done. Oh, you're so shy, guys. Like, you don't want really to talk. I don't know uh -huh. what to say. You don't know what to say. That's okay, sweetie. Okay, no problem. In that case, if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable with this game, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Now, we're going to make then a story. We're going to create a story. And how are we going to do that? Look, I will open a new page. One second. It's over here. Just clean this up. We will write a story now. 
So I will start with the first sentence. Each one of you needs to add up a sentence. They could say something small or something big. First, let's decide the grammar tense we're gonna use. So we are going to use past simple. So we are making a story in past simple. I'll start first. Last week, me and my family went to went to London. Phoebe, please continue. The next sentence is from you. We need to use past simple tense. Okay. We had a happy times at that. Sorry, sweetie, what did you say? We had? We had a happy, what? Sweetie, I didn't get that. So we, we had a happy moment at there. Uh -huh. We had a happy moment over there. All right, good. Um, Yo-Yo, would you like to continue with the sentence, please? So we must use past simple. No, Yo-Yo? Okay. Alice, would you like to continue with the next sentence? Yes, teacher. Thank you, sweetie. Tell us the next one. We decided to visit to the museum at there. Okay, perfect. Let's write it down. So, we decided to visit the museum there. All right, cool. Devin? We also visited the Big Ben and it was ginormous. Mm -hmm. Big Ben and it was... How do I spell ginormous? Just say huge. Huge. Okay, it was huge. All right, good. Um, Bishmir, do you want to continue? Ishmael, do you want to continue? Yo, yo, do you want to continue? Uh, yes. And um... And we mm, rode a boat. We rode a boat in Thames River. Uh huh. In Thames River. Okay. Amber? We also visited a lot of famous sites there. Perfect. We also visited a lot of famous right there so uh, who wants to continue chicken we ate delicious seafood there 
Mm -hmm. Perfect. We, we ate delicious seafood there. Nice, lovely. What else I have? Oh, Bishma is not here. Silly me. Okay. Paul, would you like to continue? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, sweetie. Tell us a sentence. So we're using the past simple tense, something that happened in the past. We have had many seafood such as crab and fish. Okay. Uh -huh. So you're adding up this one. We ate delicious seafood there, such as fish. And what was the other one? And crab. Uh, crabs. Uh huh. Fish and crabs. Okay. All right. Perfect. So, this kind of exercise, guys, can actually help you to make longer, stronger sentences. Once we decide which grammar tense we want to use, then we just need to follow. Usually, when we write a story, we're writing it in the past tense. When we want to describe a place, maybe like where are we going, what are we doing every day? We usually use present simple. But if there's something that we would like to do in the future, then we use a uh, future tense. So the grammar is actually very, very easy. So, so easy. But the problem is the vocabulary. So I would like to encourage you to focus a bit more on the vocabulary. Try to learn as many words as you can because that actually helps you to build your fluency. All right, we stop here. We're going to go to play a little game. I'll share my screen with you and I will give you to annotate. So first things first, let's choose the game. Um, should we choose this one? Bubble English game. All right. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, here is my screen. The game is called Bubble English game. So we're going to do this one for a while and then we're going to change it for the hangman so i will choose the topic the topic the topic which one do i choose actually amber you choose a topic you will be the first one um countries countries okay so you can take the mouse and you can just click on the countries and you can start playing the game Oh, sorry, let me just remove this one for you so it wouldn't bother you. One second, one second, so we can remove the annotate. Sorry, sweetie, one second. Yeah, all right, perfect. Where's countries? Here it is. All right, now let's see what you're going to make. Okay, he comes from China. All right. Yeah. She comes from Russia. Okay. That was easy. Round two. Now should be harder. Okay.
Sweetie, you have comes next to it? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Ooh, whose flag is this? So the balloons needs to be, the bubbles need to be next to each other. Okay, we have the final round. Let's see. You do know the flags. That's cool. They come from England, cool, easy peasy. <laughs> I think she, you should use they instead of she. I think they is okay. So, sweetie, you need to use those bubbles that are nearby. So, if you, okay but it's they, so you must start with they. And now you go on the top of it, Germany. Yay. Perfect. Whose flag is that, Amber? Whose flag is that? Argentina. Argentina. Perfect, good. Good, perfect.
That one was easy. Perfect. Yep. All right, good. Hey, well done, perfect. Let's put your name over there and see where you spotted. So you just put your name in the country. Yep, perfect location. Yeah, perfect. Let's press enter, sweetie, enter. Hey, you're on the floor. Well done. Perfect. So you did this in 27. So that will be 20 seconds or something. Okay, cool. Perfect, Amber. Thank you so much, sweetie. You did great. Let me just give the annotate to someone else now. Can I play? Um, Phoebe, you want to be next? Uh, I want to try. You want to try, all right. Just one second. I will give you the annotate in a second. I'll give it to you now. Okay. But we're going to choose something else, sweetie. So let's choose another topic. You choose what you like. Okay. You can take the mouse and you can control my screen. Yeah. And you choose which one, which topic do you like? You have verbs and verbs and verbs. Oh, you've got likes, all right? Let's check it out. Let's see. Uh -huh. it's with, ooh, okay. So the first one is actually showing you how you need to do it. Okay. Oh, All right. She likes. What does she like doing? Sweetie, really? you need oh, to choose with day. Yes, you need to start with day. Okay, cool. Okay, it's for you, it's pretty much like a lot of instruments you had. She doesn't like playing. Okay, perfect. Okay, your final round. Oh. Oh. 
So, sweetie, when we have doesn't, yeah, we're not putting likes. So we're not wrong. putting it. Yeah, that's oh, good. I He doesn't like drinking, cool. Coffee. Okay, cool. They don't like playing cards, well done. I think it's she. Oh, it's they. Okay. They like. Oh, it's she. So the sentence must start with she, okay? She. Like or I think it's likes. I think it's likes. She likes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Who likes exams? He doesn't like exams. Cool. Oh. Okay, okay. They like, okay. Perfect. They like listening to music. Perfect. Well done, Phoebe. Excellent. Let's put your names over there. Okay, perfect. We stay with Malaysia. Nice. 15. Perfect. Oh, so today you played. Awesome. Well done. Guys, who wants to try? Someone else wants to try again? Okay. Who is me? Who said that? David. David, okay, Devin, one second. Let me just, I will give you the annotate. One second, you got, yep, I gave it to you. Just one second, let me go back. And Devin, you can choose uh, the content or the topic that you would like to do. And let's see. Bubbles. Going to, all right, let's see, round one. Perfect, they're going to play tennis.
that was fast, final round. <laughs> She is, now you need going to, yep, take that. She is going to, uh -huh, take is not the correct one. Maybe she's going to swim. Yep, that makes sense. She's going to clean the windows, cool. Ah, she's going to, to take Photo, a photo. She's going to take a photo. We do need the article. All right, cool. They are going to take a train. Well done, perfect, easy peasy. They're going to take a train. Plan is going to land. Yes, well done. Uh -huh, so it's not his, but we start the sentence with he is. Much better. Perfect. He's going to shave his beard. Well done, Devin. Okay. Going to jump. Okay, jump is on the correct one. Maybe play. Is going to jump into the water. All right, cool. I think we're almost there. Mm -hmm. She's going to take a, take a bath. She is going to take she's going to take a bath. Perfect. Good. Ah, because we're forgetting the auxiliary verb over here. Going to, but then we need to have a main verb in a sentence. Perfect. Well done. He's going to cut down the tree. Cool.
you're going to buy a TV. <laughs> Never forget that. Well done. Perfect, Devin. Thank you so much. You can put your name over there. So we're going to see how did you do it today? Devin, all right. Oh, it's Devin D. All right. Uh, put uh, press enter, sweetie. Number seven. Cool. Perfect. Good. Excellent. Thank you so much for that. Let me just, guys, let me stop sharing this screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, perfect, good. Hey guys, so today basically we did a bit of speaking and I know you're still too shy because some of you feel comfortable talking to me, some of you don't, some of you feel like the topic is not very interesting for you, but because these are only speaking classes, so that's why we want to implement different kind of uh, classes. Phoebe, who is that next to you? Is that your sister? No, who is that? Oh, that's your sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, guys, perfect. So today we mainly talk about traveling, places we want to visit, places we want to go, maybe in the future, maybe places you've been before. Next week, we're definitely not going to talk about traveling. We're going to choose something else. Okay, but I want you guys to feel encouraged and speak more, okay, because these classes are free for you and basically you need to use it as much as you can. So speak as much as you can. Are we going to make a mistake? Yes, probably, but it's okay because this is how we're learning, right? Okay, do you have guys any questions, something you would like to ask me? No. No? No? Perfect, good. Thank you everyone for coming today, especially the students I know. And we already have some new students like Chicken and uh, Paul. Where's Paul? Paul is here. Alice and um, Rhythm. So thank you, guys. I hope I'm going to see you next week again. And next week, we can even have a song. So next week, we're going to work with the song. It's going to be much more fun rather than today. Okay. Okay? Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. See you next week. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Bye.